Hey everybody, welcome back to Burner Rubber Garage. Uh, this car I'm going to take to uh, have a buddy help me out. Bobby, thank you. Uh, we're going to do a lot to this car. I don't know how much of it I'm going to film. Uh, it takes a lot of time to film and I want to get it done. Uh, some of the plans are look into this motor. Uh, we'll get it pulled out, looked at. Um, if it needs to, we'll either put a new one in, rebuild this one, or just a combination of the two. I know he's got a good block. I think he's got a 350, a 400 possibly, uh, or we'll hunt for something. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll keep the fuel injection. Uh, I haven't had any problems with it. The Nova over there fires right up every time. This has had a hurt motor or something stuck. I don't know. Um, I say I'm a lot because I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, I think we're going to upgrade the brakes all the way around. We're going to go disc all the way around. New disc, drilled, slotted, hopefully. Uh, should upgrade the radiator. Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with this one, but I think we're going to upgrade the radiator. Uh, probably go to electric fans, put a little more horsepower down. Uh, may upgrade the alternator. Uh, wheels and tires, they look good, but I think we'll upgrade suspension. Uh, a little bit newer suspension. I think we'll go with some uh, tubular A-arms. Upper and lower control arms. I think we're just going to do a whole bunch of stuff to this lovely car. I think we'll do a big upgrade to the brakes. I'm hoping to get a little bit of a cam in here. Headers, exhaust. Uh, but where, where we're at right now is this battery. You guys that have been with the channel for a while know that I replaced this battery with Justin about four years ago. It almost made it four years. It's pretty good for a Walmart battery that's not getting used all the time. Uh, I came out and I think I could get it to... To almost crank, it just wouldn't, and I didn't have the time. I had this over here set up to engine start. So I just went, got another one. Four years for a battery. Once this is running better, uh, we'll upgrade all the, all the lights to LED, all the markers, everything will go LED, and then we'll start working on the inside. It's a little dirty, but man, it's a beautiful car. We'll upgrade the rear lights, LED. Those just look so good on the car. Uh, so you'll start to see a little more of this, especially once it's fixed. Uh, we got some chrome we got to polish up. I'll probably hold off on doing that. The dirt, the grime that's on the chrome will protect it because it may sit out for a bit, unfortunately. Um, we come into the cockpit here. I like this B&M shifter. It's beautiful. Sorry, there's my finger again. Uh, we've got a bunch of stuff over there on the shelf. I think seat belts, everything like that. Once it's running good, uh, I think at that point we can... There's a flasher thing that came off too. So let's do a quick fix here. Look at that. Oh boy, look at that. Got her. Um, overall pretty good. We don't have the vents over here or over there. Uh, all the gauges down there. Have been the middle one is uh, original to what I, when I got it. So was the water. We replaced the oil pressure. Uh, it was jacked up, and I was scared I wasn't running with any oil. I don't think any of this works. We got a whole bunch of stuff over here: cap rotor plugs, um, timing light, wire separator kits. Um, we got a lot of stuff over here that could be used. Uh, timing light, I think, is actually my brother's. There's a Fitech instructions in the back. Overall, a really clean car. We got one handle back here that keeps falling off. We'll address that. I haven't done a whole lot with this car because why put time into a car that's not freaking running? So, um, overall, though, it's a sweet car. We got, uh, I think, a Rockford Fosgate speakers. This trim piece is good. That one fell off, so we'll re-glue it. I think there might supposed to be one right there. I don't know. Uh, 68 cars, cool. I, I've always wanted a first-gen Camaro, but this car has been a curse. A freaking curse. But uh, we'll get it fixed. Uh, a lot of this stuff on here is good. The horn, I undid it. I don't know what happened, but uh, I was uh, honked at once, and then it just stuck on. So I've undone that. I'm not sure what I want to do with that. I want to adjust the steering wheel so it's straight anyways. Uh, tracks down the road good. The steering wheel just needs to be clocked this way a bit. Uh, but with all the suspension stuff, we're going to have to do an alignment. Uh, those of you guys asking, I think it's a turbo 350 trans. I'm not sure if it's a 10 or 12 bolt. Uh, in the trunk, we got a nice amp. Uh, it's a 350. I don't know anything about it. I don't like the Eldebrock kit or the Holly kit uh, that was on it. Like mix match. There's Eldebrock. There's Holly at the top. I just 
I'm going to get a black crinkle Chevy for it. I really like that orange and black. I uh, might even take that out, scuff the crap out of it, and paint it. I'm not a big chrome guy. These wheels were a stretch for me to get. Uh, they are American Racings. People keep asking me what size. 23540 ZR18 up front. And out back we got 26535 ZR18. And I'm hoping to bring the whole car down just a bit. I can with the air shocks in the rear. The front's pretty good. It rides up just a bit in the back. Um, these have actually never been on the road. How sad is that? I think it's sad, but this car, the paint's beautiful, the white stripes. Um, yeah, I'm one of those guys. I saw that and had to have it because it's, it's really close. It looks good. Um, I've been busy on this, trying to get it to the point where we can get it on the trailer and get it up to his house. I spent a little time there the other day. Actually, I spent a lot of time there going over plans for this, and I am... I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited. We broke the splitter, and by we, I mean me. Uh, it left me high and dry, and I was pushing it on the trailer, and it hit the ramps and shattered the splitter. So, uh, the hose coming down there is a return line. I'll get that run. There's a lot to do on this car. Uh, we should be able to knock it out. Still such a cool car. And with the hood down, it's got that little bit of a cow. Solid steel, it's not a fiberglass hood. Yeah. So, I went with these batteries. In Utah, I went with it. It's a little more cold cranking amps. Uh, Utah is really cold. Out here in Tennessee, I don't think I'm going to need that many cold cranking amps. I could probably got away with this smaller, cheaper battery. But uh, this one's uh, Max 34N. 800 cold cranking amps. Uh, cranking amps at 32 degrees, uh, 1,000. So, I don't remember the warranty on these. They usually last long enough to not have any of it. Oh, there we go. Three-year free replacement. That one made it four, so how fitting. But overall, fun car. Plan on replacing the lights for LEDs. Rears for LEDs. Get that resistor in there that's proper for LEDs. We'll hit the side marker lights. I don't know if it has side markers in the rear. I don't think that happened until 69. Nope. We're clean back here. Chrome will clean up pretty good. I don't think I'll do new bumpers. <coughs> but we should have a little more aggressive stance. I'll probably kick away the air shocks in the back. I'm not sure yet, though. Um, I'll see what Bobby thinks, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. This car is going to be sweet. That's all I can say is this car is going to be sweet. Um, for a lot of people, this is a, a bucket list dream car, and it was for me, too. I've um, been tempted to sell it a lot, but I just I don't. I don't sell it because when it ran, I felt like a king, like a boss. And uh, there's not many things in this... Uh, world that can get you that feeling and driving this car made me feel like that i mean there's other things but um i felt like a, a badass in the nova i feel cool in that even though some people think that's a pile i like my c10s uh but this one this one was something else because as a kid i saw these and i wanted one uh, a buddy in high school had one i wanted it uh tried to buy it didn't work out uh, tried to buy a couple of them didn't work out and finally i got my hands on this one and uh, I feel like I bought a lemon, but we're going to fix a lot of that. I'm sure there's going to be some coinage dropped on this, unfortunately, but it is what it is. When you have these old cars, every now and then you, uh, you got to dump some money. And the funny thing is, and maybe I'll tell it in, well, and I'll tell it now. Uh, the guy, Bobby, he's going to help me with this. He, he had a 70 C10 that I went up to look at and I got to talking with him and I brought up this car and he's like, well, let's get her going. And I was like, you'll help me? And he's like, yeah. I mean, it's tough to do a lot of this by yourself. And some of it, I don't, just not comfortable with it. I don't have the skills, and he does. So we'll take care of him. He'll take care of me, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But yeah, I need to say, I didn't buy the truck. I'm going to put the money into this. And maybe when we're done with this, we can get that, that Nova going. I don't know if the clutch just isn't fully engaging. And that's why we're smoking. We're kind of smoking the clutch. But uh, I haven't drove it since. Uh, it needs some love. The Fox body, it's good to go, man. I have not seen a more reliable car than that one, unfortunately. Uh, I guess the, some of these other newer ones are, but uh, we're going to get this going. So if you're excited like I am, hit that thumbs up. If you can, subscribe if you want to see more about this car. 68 Camaro. Uh, freaking sweet car. A stance on it. It's truck's in the way. I can't back it out because my 
<laughs> trailer's in the way. Good looking car, very clean. There's some imperfections in the paint. It's not perfect, but I don't want a perfect paint job on something I want to drive. So for me, that's perfect. It's as good as I'm going to get. I'm happy with it. Uh, from five, six feet, you won't see a thing. You get up to a one, two foot, you might start to see a few blemishes. But overall, it's a clean car. Again, thanks for the love. We're almost to 5,000. Uh, if you know anyone who likes these type of videos, please share. Uh, let's see if we can get to 5,000 by the end of uh, next month. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.